So, hey everybody, I hope you are doing very, very well. Had a bit of a clear up, which is good. And these three stools are all looking like they're now ready for a glue up tomorrow, which would be fantastic. A um, little note on the chair I've got there. I bought got two of these actually from um, a local dump a little while ago. They were five pounds each. This one is um, classic wheel back. And um, the other one is a much taller one with um, with arms on it. Nice elm seat. Yeah, can't go wrong with that. So, yeah, a couple of things really. It was just to show the progress that I'm doing there. Um, also to speak about a small correction. And that relates to the video I did about draw slips. Um, or like ultimate draw construction a while ago. Um, I've still kept this drawer as a template. And it was highlighted to me that um, I got some information wrong about that and I think it's only fair for me to share that with you. So I was talking about the slips which attach the drawer bottoms um, to, to the drawer and I mentioned in that video and that they were from the 18th century onwards and that's not correct. Um, you can do some research yourself and find that out. They're more of a 19th century thing um, which has carried through into the 20th century. Um, doesn't change how I feel about them. I think they're a superb option for making drawers. And the main point for that kind of thing is not to make a captive draw base. Certainly with all the knowledge of, that we've got about timber movement, if you're going to be making a drawer, whatever you do, you don't want to be putting in a fixed panel into some grooves. You know, say you've got, you know, maybe a groove that's only three mil deep. You know, you, you haven't got any movement for that. It's ridiculous, you can't do that. In good quality work, there's no excuse. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll get the um, stalls glued up. Um, new one to me will be tie, trying out some of the, this kind of ready to use hide glue. I've used um, just hot hide glue before for rub joints. Um, and I think with these, because not, I've not made much in the way of chairs before, or stalls or anything of that nature, I think having that bit of extra time to just faff around with the joint if I need to might be quite helpful. Um, so I'm going to give that a shot. That should hopefully be done tomorrow. And um, yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention my website that I've been, it's been up since January. Um, all it is is very much like a lot of content on this site. It's um, just a conversation about things and how I feel. And you might notice if you tune in that it kind of dropped away. And that's because I've been working on one monumental blog post, which probably I should keep private and I should get it down on paper and be happy with it and then just go in the, bar in the garden and just like burn it just to cleanse my brain. Um, but I want to put it on the website and then move forward from there. It's nothing dramatic. It's not, it's not a nasty thing. I think it's a, a lot of it is about defining about how... I view the work that a lot of us do if we're doing things at home and how we might be labelled for doing things in certain ways. Um, again, it's a lot of old guff, but do you know what? It's been really hard to write and I really hope that when it comes out, it looks like I'm not a lunatic. Um, so yeah, you might want to check in on that and I'll, I'll give a mention to it when it's up there. Again, there's nothing to buy on the website. It's just, just some reading material. Hopefully I can add some more resources there in time. But yeah, I've really enjoyed making those um, basic stools there. Definitely going to um, move on to the next thing. I've been excited already about maybe getting a bit too carried away. And what I'm going to do next is I've got a piece of material here that's been lurking behind the bench for some time. Start making some templates for um, start actually making a chair. And as tempted as I am to go for something with with arms on and all the rest of it, I've learnt from doing the legs on those about how I'm going to tweak that for my next one. And I think the danger is if you just try and do everything all at once, you're going to kind of, your eyes are going to be too big for your belly. And I just want to slow up on that. So instead of doing three next, I'm only really going to do one and I'm going to do a three-legged back stool. Again, I'm going to be following reasonably closely the information in Jack Hill's book on the subject. But also, you've only got to hit Instagram or antique shops or do a Google search these days and you can just see loads of inspiration. 
and when it boils down to it it's pretty much about making some angles and um yeah so there's that to come and i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it because i've recorded all the bits of how i've been making those stools and i haven't done it in like a this is how you do it it's just very much a just watch what happens process but i've got to kind of join all of that together and back in the day i used to use windows movie maker but obviously that doesn't work anymore so i'm going to need to find a free easy to use platform i don't haven't seen a great deal of good stuff out there for that so i'm gonna to have to see what i can find um but yeah that's what's going on and um, i hope you've grabbed some time in your your workshops or whatever recently your your shop space at home and um yeah look forward to the next one where hopefully we can look at the stools up together oh and one last thing i'm gonna hopefully make up some soap finish because i like the idea of making simple finishes at home and making up a soap finish seemed like a really straightforward way to do that minimal stress and it moves away from when i'm using ash like this um and if you stick oil on that it can start to look like urine pretty quick um, whereas with something like a soap finish, I can keep that pale look. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, thanks for watching that one, and then um, we'll catch up soon.